With the first week of Philadelphia Eagles training camp now in the book, we look back. We've had some insiders on here. They told us how they felt about the first week. Well, now it's my turn. I've been quiet long enough. So we're going to quickly just go over this last day of training camp and what I'm looking forward to in the future. So let's get it. Everywhere, this is for you. Yeah. Fly, What's going on, you guys? This is your boy, Joe Castro, a.k.a. Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly, the podcast, man. So, listen, I want to talk quickly about the last day of camp, give you a little bit of uh, news that came up, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about how I'm feeling going forward. But before we do that, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the family, I'm trying to hit 3K. It would love for you to join the ride, you know? Uh, but let's get into this, man. So, obviously, the Eagles finished their first week of practice nobody's you know injured knock on wood nothing too crazy brandon brooks is good jalen rager started doing team activities today um there was a little bit of a scare when it comes to Devonte smith Devonte smith got into a bit of a collision um and was taken off of the practice field for the rest of the day he did show he didn't like go to the nova he didn't go into the complex he wasn't really looked at by any of the training staff so everybody's saying he should be fine just was a precautionary thing but people are looking good man people are looking good jalen hurts had a bit of a rough day he did throw i believe two interceptions i could it could have been just one and they worded it differently but i believe it was two so that would make three for the whole camp which is obviously not the biggest deal but it's also not the most sexy thing you want to see from your quarterback but outside of that i mean the running backs did their thing miles sanders broke off a run that they said if it was a game it would be about an 80 yard run he took a swing pass for about 60 yards there was a lot of chatter going on between you know the offense and the defense um even chippy between uh jalen rager and steven um nelson you know steven nelson got beat Rayler, Rager was in his ear a little bit. Then Rager got beat by Steven Nelson. Steven Nelson was in Rager's ear a little bit. So it was a beautiful day. Um, Darius Slay was getting in a little chippy with some of the wide receivers. Nick Sirianni ran about like 40 yards down the practice field to congratulate his defense, which is awesome to see. Like, it was a good day. You know, like I said, nothing major happened. No injury. Sometimes good, uh, no news is good news, right? So we haven't heard anything crazy. Um, now, as far as Zach Ertz, Zach Ertz is a pan getting yak y'all that that's something to be scared about you know he's going out there and he's balling out uh apparently he caught a ball and actually put a move on one of our it was a backup cornerback it is what it is uh but he put a move on him and, and got some yards after the catch now this is something we don't see much from zach ertz maybe it's the blonde hair maybe he's a little bit more agile now who knows but i'm excited to see it now like i said the defense did have a good day um nick seriani basically came out and said that he does believe the defense won the past two days i think that's normal i don't think that's anything to get too worried about you add on um, you can, you know, you think of just the fact that this is a very young team. You know, obviously this is Jalen Hurts' full first full year. Devontae Smith, this is his first year. Uh, Jalen Rager, still just a sophomore, but it's still all new to these people. Then you add on the whole new front office, the whole new staff, I should say. Um, so you, the offense is going to take a little while to gel. The defense has a lot more veterans. They have a lot more um, solidified players. We know who's going to be where for the most part on defense. So it doesn't really shocked me that they're having good days and um honestly that's good honestly i'm glad that our defense is, is making our offense work and making them go out there and put the time in to get better because if we can't beat our own defense we're probably not going to beat many others but one thing that i did like a lot is the competition man you know we had uh chris mcpherson on this morning shout out to him and one thing he was saying is that he's not afraid to to really get him being uh 
Jonathan Gannon and Nick Sirianni, they're really not afraid to get in these players' ears and let them know what's going on. You know, they they stopped practice on Friday um, in the middle of practice and basically told the offense, look, it's it's you're not going to have the fastest start every week and you got to fight through it. So I love that. I like that. Um, a little bit of bad news. I know a lot of Eagles fans, including myself, was really looking forward to the padded practices. They are moving them back to Tuesday. Um, reasoning being they just didn't want anybody to get hurt. They didn't want to do it right after the big day off. So I guess it makes sense. Obviously, I'm, I wish that we would have been able to see some padded practices, but we only have to wait one day. So that should be really cool. Um, but Monday is going to be more fundamentals. That's what he was saying. He was saying they're basically going to go through drills, go through the, the fundamentals of the game so nobody gets hurt when they do put on the pads. Now, is that cause for concern? No, I, I think that's actually pretty smart. I like it. Um, and he's been able to pr provide a sense of competition even without the pads on. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the padded period. But, you know, hey. We're going to slowly get into that. We we have a lot of football coming up very soon. Uh, you know, obviously, you guys got to watch the, the practice tonight. Well, most of it. Um, and then we we go forward. We got the padded practices. The eighth, we have an open practice. Then we have another open practice after that. Then it becomes preseason games. So football is quickly approaching, and I'm very excited for it. Um, now, like I said, we are going to be basically, I was going to do it as the first padded practice on Monday. We were going to do the, you know, goat talk, but um, now we're just going to basically talk a little bit about going into padded practices. So I'm excited for that. Be sure to tune in on Monday at eight o'clock. We're going to have Lord Brunson, Philly 500, and my guy RB, Philly take with RB. That's my brother right there. But, um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to quickly go over this final day of, um, well, final day of this week, because we still have one more padded practice, but no news is good news. I think that's the, the mantra that you guys can all be saying right now. I'm not coming here upset. So that's a good thing. So we'll see what happens next week. You guys let me know in the comments. What are you guys looking forward to next week? What players, player, what, you know, coach, what are you looking forward to next week once the pads come on? Because it gets real. Once the pads are on, it's real. But other than that, y'all know what it is, man. It is fly equals fly. We are out here. Peace.